Hey, beautiful souls, and welcome to our weekly chat. After some technical difficulties, I am here uh, talking with you today. I'm so excited to be here with you. Today, I want to talk about this idea or question of how do our loved ones, our departed loved ones, our loved ones in the spirit world, how do our deceased or departed loved ones find us? Now, most of you know that I am a working medium. And so I am communicating with loved ones who have already crossed over to the spirit world on a regular basis as part of my work. And one of the frequent questions that I receive is people wanting to understand, but how do my loved ones find me? How do they know where I am? How do they know who I am or how to communicate with me? And I'm going to explain all of that to you today. First, there are a few things that we need to understand in order to understand how our loved ones who have already crossed over to the spirit world can find us, those of us that remain on this side in the physical world. First, we need to think about this idea of ourselves as a soul. So for some of you, this might not be a new concept, but for others of you, this might be a new way of understanding. Now we have our personality, the self that we identify as, right? Our soul self, sometimes thought of as our higher self, is this version of us that is so much greater than this personality having this human experience. So this idea that you, I, we are each souls coming into this physical world, into physical form to have human experiences, but we are so much more than just our human selves. We are a soul. So when our physical body, uh, no longer exists when our physical body dies our soul lives on returns back to the spirit world uh, back to that highest and most true most natural part of ourselves so the soul having a human experience is an important part in understanding how our loved ones can communicate with us because once our loved ones soul is released from the physical body they return to the spirit world and are still living on the other side as a soul they're just no longer in a physical body having a physical experience you're still here having that physical experience but they are living on just in a different way on the spirit side. Now, the second idea that we need to address when we're understanding how do our crossed over loved ones find us is this understanding of where the spirit world is. Now, of course, we are working in our finite human understanding with limited language and limited understanding from our human perspective. So some of the words I'm going to use aren't exactly right, but it's as close as I can get for this understanding. So the spirit world or the other side, or sometimes we think of it as heaven or the place that our loved ones live on in another world. It's not some faraway place that is distant and removed from us in the way that we often think about it. We think, oh, they're way up in heaven, for example, sometimes people will say, well, really, the spirit world is an unseen world within our world. So it exists here right alongside of us. It's just that we can't see it with our physical eyes. We can become sensitive to it, um, whether we're media, mediumistic or not, and learn how to feel the unseen world with our emotions, with our sensing, with our um, additional, you know, our psychic senses like we talk about. But the spirit world is all around us within this world. It's just unseen to our human eyes to our physical selves, but it isn't some far away place. So it's not like they need to come travel from some far off land. It doesn't work like that. It's not a geographic location like we think about in our limited human language and understanding. It's just a different, um, some people think of it as a different dimension, as a different energetic space. It's the non-physical, right? So we're physical, you know, things that we can touch, things that we can experience with our five human senses. The non-physical 
is the other side. It's part of this world, it's just unseen. Sometimes it's talked about when you hear people saying lifting the veil. They just mean being able to sense, feel, experience the unseen world that's within our world. So our loved ones really are close by. They're not some far off place. And that brings me to the third part of this that I wanna talk about is this idea that there is an intelligence on the other side, that our souls are wise, that we have understanding, and that that continues on when our soul or our loved one's soul crosses over into the spirit world, the spirit side of things, the unseen world. So they have to have an intelligence with them to be able to understand who they are as a soul and as a personality, right? Who you are, the person that they're wanting to say hello to, spend time with, be near, and they have to know how they know you or how they associate with you. So they do retain their memories from this lifetime, from the emotions, the experiences, the memories that you share with them. They retain all of that. And as a little aside to this question, sometimes people will ask, well, what if my loved one was incapacitated in some way in the last part of their life and they lost their memories or they no longer were able to retain those memories or what if my loved one passed away in a way that they were never really able to engage in um you know a typical way in this world what if they had some limitations or challenges or what if it was a baby that didn't walk on this side or didn't live into their adulthood to have a full understanding of you know their life as an adult in this world uh it doesn't matter and i mean that with the most love and the most compassion and encouragement and what i mean is their soul is still able to have all of the memories of the lifetime they had however brief or long it was however challenged or um with ease that it was and no matter what happened in the last part of their life when they return to spirit when they cross back over into the unseen world they have all of their memories and understanding of all of the life experiences and all of the things that led to um, the situations and experiences that were a part of their life, however brief or long. So they get all of that back, just as a little aside for some of you that I can always, I can also, also already feel raising your hand with that question. Um, so they have this intelligence with them. They have to know all of these components and then they have to be able to be near you. And how do they find us? Well, because there's an intelligence, because they retain their memories, they know who they are, they know who you are, they know what's going on in your life and where you are, they still share emotions with you. The love that exists between you, even if there were challenges in the relationship, even if you didn't know them, the love that they feel, that they have that they share with you still exists so they are able to see you they don't have physical eyes anymore they're able to see you in a non-physical way which means they can see your soul they can see your auric field they can see the colors of your soul and the expression and the emotions going on with you so they're drawn to you or still in relationship with you based on the love that you shared how incredible is that so in a nutshell in a very quick version that is how your crossed over loved ones your loved ones in the spirit world know where you are and how to find you now the type of mediumship that i practice is called evidential mediumship which really just means that when your loved ones communicate i like them to share some specific details about who they were here in the world so you can recognize them and in mediumship and evidential mediumship we call that the evidence and what that actually means is they're validating hey i know who i am hey i have these memories with this person hey this is the person that i love or that i want to express something Thing too. So those quote unquote validations, right, that detail that can be validated by the recipient helps to really um, solidify or to express that they are in fact who we think they are. And it's typically validations that myself or the medium you're working with wouldn't otherwise know. Uh, it's obviously we, we probably don't know you if you're the client, but also 
it's often things that we couldn't possibly um, search for or find in other ways. Not that any legitimate working medium has time to do so, but even if we wanted to, the details and the affirmations and the validations that loved ones bring forward to offer validation or proof, quote unquote, of that they're here, of their existence, that they're spending time with you is through these details they bring about their life. Now, often, like I said, these are details that no one could possibly know and they transcend time and space. And what I mean by that is um, I'm thinking of a specific session recently, a group reading where one of the participants, one of the sitters came to me afterwards and one of the communicators from the spirit world was her dad who had crossed over to the spirit world more than 40 years ago. And she just needed to understand how does he know where I am? I live in a totally different country now. So many things have happened. How does he know these details about you know, his grandchildren who are still here in the physical world and how does he know that we live in different places and and how does he find us and so it's the it's one of the things besides some recent emails that you guys have sent me that inspired this talk just to start to try to unfold it for you a little bit in your understanding as you consider these elements and hopefully this has shed some light on how you can understand how it is possible how your loved ones in the spirit world still are in relationship with you, still spend time with you, still know where you are in the world and what's going on in your life. And hopefully this has answered the question for you of how do your loved ones who have crossed over to the spirit world find you? Let me know how this resonated with you. Let me know if this is a new way of hearing it for you. Maybe you're hearing it this way for the first time. Um, and also if you have other questions about mediumship or about the spirit world or how that communication works with either your loved ones on the other side or guides, uh, let me know in the comments or you can message me privately through my email through the website joyfulmedium.com because I want to start answering some of these questions that you really uh, are seeking, some of the things that you really want to know about the spirit world or how all of these spiritual gifts work. I don't have all the answers, but I do have some experience that I can share from. And, uh, you know, as a medium, it is one of my favorite things to do to help people understand that our loved ones live on, their souls live on, and that love carries on just in a different way. So I am Joy Giovanni joyful medium sharing this with you today and uh, I hope that this has touched you in some way and let me know what other questions you have big hugs and bye for now it's great being with you guys lots of love talk to you soon